Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Edmonton Oilers win 5 1 in game six to force game seven back in Florida. And as Andrew Raycroft so eloquently put it after the game, there hasn't been a worse flight to be on in NHL history than the one the Florida Panthers are going to take tomorrow. I'm Steve Dangle. This is Cup Check, where we talk about every single game of the Stanley Cup Final, and this Stanley Cup Final has been an historic one. The Edmonton Oilers went into this game knowing no one would know or care or remember them forcing Game 6 if the Florida Panthers won that game and won the Cup. Case in point. I went and looked back at the last time this happened. Do you remember the last time this happened? You probably do because it's been all over every screen that you've looked at for the last week. The last time a team that was down 3-0 in the Stanley Cup final forced a game six was when the 2012 Devils did it to the 2012 Kings. Before this game, I went back and looked. I was like, who was on that team? What happened? What happened in game four? What happened in game five? Well, what happened in game four is Adam Henrique scored. Adam Henrique was in both these series? Like, dude, I watched that. I got paid to watch that. I got paid to make highlights for that. And even I forgot, it's been 12 years. After 12 years, you forget that they almost came back. Who cares that they almost came back? The LA Kings won. That's got to be the mindset of the Florida Panthers going forward. Who cares that the Oilers forced a game seven? If we win the Stanley Cup, we're on the Stanley Cup forever. People will forget that this was forced to seven in a matter of years. Even if they don't. It'll be a great story to tell that you were victorious in game seven. Look at the Canucks and the Blackhawks from 2011. But the Oilers go into this game knowing that their fans, the loudest fans in the Stanley Cup playoffs, in the building, out of the building, the whole city, a drunken shade of orange. This is the last time the Oilers will play in front of them this season. Win this game, lose this game for better or worse You win this game, you have the opportunity to play in Florida. This is the last performance you're going to have in front of these fans. You better make it a good one. And it was legendary. The depth for the Edmonton Oilers continues to show up in this cup final. Seven-ish minutes into the first period, they attack three on two. It's unbelievable how often the Edmonton Oilers, after going down 3 nothing have caught the Panthers with odd man rushes. And it's Ekblad and Forsling out there as the two for Florida. If you're Florida, that's not a bad scenario. Except early in the rush, Ekblad goes down because he collides with Fogel. Now, I thought it was completely incidental. Ekblad had his foot stuck out, and Fogel was just driving the net. Regardless, Dreisaitl, ugh, what a pass to Fogel, who buries the thing. I should have wore the vest. And Fogel with his third third of the Stanley Cup playoffs huge one opens the scoring in game six and there's a couple ways you could look at this Edmonton outshot the Panthers 11 to 2 in the first period it wasn't close it wasn't close at all and yet one nothing that's it one nothing to add to the no one remembers who almost won narrative producer drew was talking to me at first intermission about the 2022 stanley cup final where the team that drew cheers for the colorado avalanche were playing the tampa bay lightning what i remember from game six of that series is the avalanche beat the lightning and won the stanley cup what drew remembers is that the avalanche beat the lightning and won the stanley cup but before that the lightning were the way better team in the first period the fact that edmonton had a one nothing lead after that period was good it's always better to have the lead but if you're the panthers and you just got outshot 11 to 2 you're not happy about it but you know what 11 to 2 11 to 2 well, it could have been worse. So you got a fresh slate. You start anew in the second. Come out hot. Come out good. And dude, they blow it. Ekholm harmlessly wraps the puck up the boards. Like, I don't even think he meant to like pass this. I think he was just clearing it. It like gently finds its way onto Matthias Yanmark's stick. And oh, look at that. It's a two on one. Yanmark finds Adam Henrique. Ping! Off.
off the bar, and for the second time in his career, Adam Henrique scores in a game six of a Stanley Cup final after his team was down 3 nothing and forced the game six. Really obscure stat, but I'm pretty sure he's the only guy who's ever done it. And the Oilers are in danger of running away with this again, but the Panthers attack the Panthers with an opportunity, and Barkov brings the Panthers to within what are you doing? No, 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 don't talk to the ref. No, 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 don't talk to the ref. They review it for offside. It's a long review for offside. And uh, honestly, honestly, Carter Verhage, when he brings this puck across the line, he goes like right along the line. When I think it's Sam Reinhart crosses the plane, crosses the blue line into the offensive zone, Verhage has the puck. 70, 80, 90% across the blue line, but it's not 100, and it's obviously visibly not 100. That's offside. The goal comes back, and it's a massive swing. You saw the Panthers. Like, dude, we're right back in this. We're within one. It's like we, we had a minute knocked off the period. Who cares? We're right back here. We're, it's like we were down one nothing. We're going to come back. We're going to win the cup tonight, and we're all going to have a Merry Christmas. Video replay handed them a lump of coal, but... It's a much better period for the Panthers. They're out shooting Edmonton 11-4, to and they're happy about that. Except the longer the period goes, you know what? Actually, I'm not all that happy about it because it's 2 nothing, and I hate that it's 2 nothing. Why can't it be not 2 nothing anymore? And Zach Hyman goes, all right, I got you, bud. Zach Hyman! Partial break! Forehand! Backhand! That is as loud as I have ever heard a building full of people. Zach Hyman with what is now the salary cap record for goals in a Stanley Cup playoff with his 16th and as producer Drew pointed out like a sicko like an absolute like a piece of garbage like an absolute you are uninvited from my son's birthday party I can't believe I'm in 16th of the playoffs to add to the 54 that he got in the regular season gives him 70 goals this season which ties the current leader or he was austin matthews oh oh let me tell you something let me tell you something oh i don't care that hindsight's 2020 i don't care that a lot of lee fans thought that was a lot of money as well at the time i i don't i don't care i really don't care a lot of oilers fans thought that was a lot of money at the time too it's true a lot of oilers fans deleting tweets but i tell you what um i don't care at all about hindsight being 2020 i want kyle dubas arrested J- jail jail immediately jail immediately go to jail that guy that guy got a promotion pittsburgh gave him a promotion anytime the oilers play the penguins it should be like money off the board like you know money on the board where they put money up and like hey i want to win this game the oilers should just let uh, kyle dubas teams win for the rest of their lives add the leafs to that even though he's not there anymore is probably shanahan was involved shanahan wanted the core together so bad yeah no we can't keep zach never forget never forgive them no but yeah but no let's run her back yeah but no how about you run it back to the crappy take store zach hyman should still be a leaf anyway uh he's not and the oilers are up three nothing and that was the moment essentially that oilers fans knew they were going to game seven well perhaps not the moment because barkov a minute 28 into the third period lit the oilers on fire actually like oh my god oh my oh my god nasty goal on Stuart skinner and you see him score a goal like that that early in the third you're like oh oh okay they might still do it like remember how the panthers were up three nothing and we were like oh the oilers don't have a shot and it's been nothing like that ever since that goal from Barkov kind of made me go, oh, right, they're sick too. And there was a let's go Oilers and everyone, but th- there was a difference to it. The fans were a little scared. Derek Ryan takes a high stick on Nick Cousins and fans are a little scared. But the Oilers penalty kill comes through as it's come through so often in these Stanley Cup playoffs and it gets a little louder again. Kevin Stenland takes a penalty even louder. The Ryan McLeod empty netter roof comes off and then dude panthers get close to making it 4-2 skinner scoops the puck nearly off the goal line one hand shovels it to nurse who scores that is a primary assist for Stuart skinner fun fact two players got their first assist of the playoffs on this goal uh the other was philip broberg who ties skinner and assists on the same play stays tied with him technically and now what do you got 
What is it? And the noise. The noise. The volume in that building. You could see it on my face if you were watching the stream on the SDPN YouTube channel. The smiles, the laughter, the hugging, the hands in the air, the cheering. I saw Oilers fans playing drums on each other's heads. I saw a bunch of guys dressed up as water bottles. I didn't know the context. I saw a girl in a Sheldon Surrey jersey with a Ted Lasso Believe sign. You know how long you have to have been an Oilers fan to have a Sheldon Surrey jersey? I have no idea. No idea, none, what those people feel like. How aren't you unbelievably jealous? You've never in your entire life, well, unless you cheer for a hockey team worth cheering for, you have never in your entire life been to a concert, a movie, a play, a party, a block party, a rave. A house party. You've never been to any party, any nothing. As good as being in that building was tonight. As being outside of that building was tonight. As being in that city, just in the vicinity of that ruckus was tonight. And what's incredible is if the Oilers do it, if the Oilers become the second team ever in the history of in the National Hockey League. The first team since 1942 to erase a 3 0 series deficit in the NHL to win the Stanley Cup. Game seven, the pandemonium after that, it's going to be even better. Flip side, you're the Florida Panthers. Uh, Paul Maurice, if you got some knee slappers and reverse psychology or whatever, now's your time to empty your bag. Uh, not just on your players, but I don't see a world where the Florida Panthers come back, come back, <laughs> turn the tides and win this series on home ice unless Paul Maurice stuffs Chris Knobloch into a locker. If you're Paul Maurice, you're talking about the things that I talked about at the beginning of this video. Don't think about your place in history if you lose. Your place in history if you win is as a winner. No one's going to care. No one's going to give a damn. The, that you almost blew it. No one's going to care. There might be a few memes. Is it, is it going to hurt your feelings? When you get to hoist that cup above your head, is it going to hurt your feelings? When you're going to see your name etched in the Stanley Cup for all time, you get to show your friends, your family, your kids, your name on that trophy? Is it gonna is it gonna hurt your feelings when you get a Stanley Cup ring the size of a sewer grate? I don't think anyone's gonna care how you won it. They're just gonna care that you won it. And now, lucky us, yes, the Stanley Cup final is going on too long. The NHL season is too gosh darn long. June twenty fourth is officially the date. The Stanley Cup is going to be handed out. But if you get past that for just a sec, Monday is going to be one wild night. Let me know in the comment box down below who is winning the Stanley Cup. Do the Panthers cut off the narrative and win their first ever Stanley Cup and erase any memory we have of this thing? Or do the Edmonton Oilers pull off the impossible? You want my prediction? Leaf fan, right here. Zach Hyman, Stanley Cup winning goal, his 71st of the season to pass Austin Matthews. This is the way. Let me know what you think. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends you're going to want to watch this one. You're not going to want to miss this one. This might never happen again in your life. Enjoy it.